It was Christmas Day. There weren't any presents. There wasn't a ham or quail or pheasants. They sent a letter to Santa with only one wish. Let's call up Chad Hoover and go catch some fish. Merry Christmas, people. It is Christmas morning. And it just so happens that Chad Hoover was coming to the Texas Coastal Bend area and his family happened to be doing Christmas another time other than Christmas morning and so did mine. So they asked me if I, want, if I would like to go fishing. Heck yeah. So we got Chad Hoover coming in. He's going to meet me here in Aransas Pass and we're going to go see what we can't do on the flats this morning. Merry Christmas people. I've never fished on Christmas morning before. Very odd thing but a cool thing. Merry Christmas America. Merry Christmas, America. Merry Christmas Puerto Rico. Christmas in Australia. Merry Christmas, Italy. <laughs> we saw a kayak club in Italy use Teresa's picture last night for some ad for Merry Christmas kind of thing. So, Merry Christmas, Italy. All right, where's Hoover at, man? <laughs> you know why it's weird that there is no, what, there's weird that there's fog in Corpus Christi? Wow. In Port Aransas? Because you have to have no wind to get fog. <laughs> and it's never not windy here. I know. So that's crazy. You, it. you brought it, man. You brought the We're going to film each other filming each other. <laughs> well, guys, I made it to Aranza's Pass. So that's the man right there. That's Ty filming me, filming him, filming me, filming him from 30 miles out. And that's Miss so Teresa right there. Blow up. That's the 30 miles out vehicle. Manor Sales and good dudes over there with Aris and the crew. There's the 30 miles out logo. Hey, there's Ty's license plate right there. You know how on most shows they blur it out? I ain't blurring it out. It ain't like he's hiding from anybody. <laughs> anyway, it's fishing Christmas. I was gonna no. call it Fishmas on Facebook, but I figured everybody would be like, are you trying to replace Jesus with a fish? No, we're just going out and enjoying <laughs> what Jesus created on his birthday. Okay? Amen. Y'all can sit at home and recover from your eggnog hangovers. We're going fishing with some drag bullets. Sometimes when it slicks out like this though, I go to just a naked fluke and throw it and switch it along. I do the same thing. Well, I got triple hooks on them right now, so we'll have to... I got some... If, if it gets too bad, I got some single hooks. Alright. Christmas day. That is sweat. Winter fishing video, you're wearing flip flops. I was like, hey, don't hate me because I'm from the south. It's all relative, man. This is cold down here. Look at the, look at the Christmas elf in the yellow kayak. So the plan was to ease on out at a spot we call the water slide, throw some top water since it's so slick. All right, Chad, this happens every time. She starts catching everything. She's famous for this. What is it? Yeah. A little runt red? Single hook? Top water, red. Runt red, but it's a red. Good thing she didn't have trouble hooks on that plug, huh? You caught one before kayak bass and TV caught one. December 25th. Warm, still, foggy. Man, we don't see that a lot here on the Texas Coastal Bend, especially the still part. So Chad and I are both originally from Louisiana, so I know I grew up in a P-Rogue. How about you, Chad? Man, I grew up in a P-Rogue, um, or dragging one in and out of the sloughs. Um, in fact, one of the first projects I got to collaborate uh, pretty extensively with Confluence on was the uh, Wilderness Systems Commander. And realistically, all that was was a plastic P-Rogue. P-Rogue, right. The, uh, it's kind of funny, because this is a something of a homecoming for kayak fishing for me. I started kayak fishing in Corpus Christi in uh, 1996 and before that i fished out of a lot of flat bottom paddle boats so i've been pretty much my whole life but i just started uh kayak fishing in 1996 so yeah. i've only been doing it a couple years <laughs> i feel the same way it's like you know growing up pierogues canoe yeah. 
paddling an aluminum boat around. It's like you've been kayak fishing forever. Yeah. That's just plastic. Yeah, I've been fishing out of something you sit on top of for a long time. Long time, man. Man, this, this fog is crazy, guys. It's a good thing I know where I'm at. I may not be able to make it home. I can barely see them in the distance. And they're probably not even 100 yards from me, maybe. We're throwing the flats on Christmas morning. First time I've ever fished Christmas morning in my life. It just so happens that that everybody's doing Christmas on different days, so we were able to fish Christmas morning. So. Howdy, howdy. Hopefully they're gonna turn on here in a minute. You gotta catch something today, Chad. Oh, I know. Come on, Ansel Adams, throw that top water. Go find us some fish. Don't ever tell Teresa to go find us some fish. She's liable to do just that. Told you, trout and skipjack in the channel on go. picked up so I put my back to the wind and started walking the dog and wham! We're on the spot now. Might be a redfish, mate. Nice pick. Oh. <laughs> Specs have a real soft mouth. I lose a few every now and then. A net would probably help, but I hate nets. Oh man. Don't you come to blowing out my zone. Meanwhile, Teresa's is still finding a few fish here and there. Oh, Chad, I'm not sure what he's doing back there, but it's looking kind of bleak and I feel bad. So, we may have to move spots or something. The sun's high now and the fog's lifted. Let's see if we can walk the dog a little more and find a couple fish. There's Chad way over there. Giving them hell, standing up in the attack, throwing the top dog. Well, we got some bright sunshine now. I'm thinking these fish are gonna turn on. This looks like a good flat skip for shot. What? Let me see your stringer, Chad. Last week I caught so many fish that I didn't have any skin left on my thumb from bass fishing. And uh, the one good thing about fishing with Ty is you don't have to worry about your thumbs getting torn up. <laughs> I'm trying to catch a daughter. I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. Not good. <laughs> Been watching Chad all morning. This attack is pretty sweet. I mean, look at the glide on it. It's like just one paddle stroke. Remember still. Nice. Sounds like a big old paddle board, man. Oh, that, that seat's bad. 3D seat, 3D seat, you think you can put one on here? Just gotta measure the width. Yeah. Just put these little fittings on there is all. You know what it is, it's all the duck hunters. The duck hunters have got the water turned off. Red tide. <laughs> In the winter? Yeah, we just pour down here, you are roasted. Come on. All right, check out Chad Hoover's rig. So the water slide didn't produce too well for us this morning. But it's still early, and I've got another trick up my sleeve. Let's load up and move. Will Ty, Teresa, and Chad find some decent fish? I'll tell you what, don't get your paddle leash in a bind, and we'll find out right after this. Winter time, I feel like we need to be fishing low and slow. You know a spot that's four to six foot deep, it may have some fish. Let's go. Come on now. Ooh. 
fluke. Yeah, Hoover. Right off the bat, we're in them. <laughs> now we're talking busy, boy. We made the right move, I think, folks. Hoover finally brought some good luck around here. Hey, I got, I'm back got a stringer going. We are in them, folks. We hadn't even got. Yeah, they're, they're spunky. All right, let's catch some more. by this cut. That's he's smaller than my last one. Is he? Yeah. He's yeah, fat. He's 18. Back wrecking in the U.S. of A. When the water temperature drops, the reds and trout like to congregate low. I know this is a little canal that runs between these piers that's about four to six foot, and I had a feeling they'd be stacked up there, and guess what? They are. I'm flowing low on the bottom, and they're hitting it. Hoover hooked up! Woo. What you got, man? in a little bit of deeper water right by docks or any kind of cover or structural change so these make really good fillets with grease and cornmeal and a little tony chasherets but i'm staying in a hotel so this one's going back in the bay he ain't big enough anyway i'll leave all right so we got the stripe off got the stripe off the back which is good oh, we broke the curse man this morning was sucking Look at him. Well, Chad got to get. We're going to do family Christmas stuff. We're going to stay out here for a little while longer. See if we can't catch a state record trout. Where are you headed tomorrow, Falcon? If the weather cooperates, I'm heading down to hook up with uh, Bobby Gonzalez. We're going to do a little toad hunting on uh, Falcon Lake, just south of Laredo, Texas, down on the border. Now, there's a lot of people that are going to say, man, you shouldn't be going down there because it's dangerous. Somebody got shot down there. Well, listen, let me tell you something. If you're going to not go somewhere because somebody got, yeah, shot, got shot, you shouldn't come out of the house if you live in Detroit, D.C., L.A., New Orleans, Atlanta. Pretty much any metropolitan area in the United States is more dangerous than going fishing on Falcon Lake. So I'm gonna go down there and chase some big old green fish. Now, I ain't stupid, so I will be packing. I had a blast fishing with you guys, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate the hell out of it. It was fun. Y'all gonna see a lot more of this collaboration right here. You're gonna see Mo Bass and one of uh, one of Ty's cousins resurface. We're gonna beat the shit out of the box like a pinata. Did I say Can you say shit on your channel? I mean, I I can beep it out on my channel. I'll beep it out. But anyway, so we're going to keep I got, it clean. I got churn. It's I Christmas churn. Day, 2015. I've had a blast. We finally got that white stripe off our back. Got into some good trout. I hooked a red up over there by the pier. Lost it. But it's been fun. It's been real. I love this part of the country. I'm going to be back here on a regular basis since I'm doing this full time now. Do it, man. Uh, I mean, Good. we're just going to do all kind of redneck debauchery. Give me a holler anytime you're close by. All right, brother. Enjoyed Appreciate it. it, man. Enjoyed it. Well, there you go. We kept at it, and we found some fish on Christmas Day. It was a lot of fun fishing with Chad Uber. If you haven't seen Chad do his bass thing, you need to check out his show, Kayak Bassin', on NBC Sports and the World Fishing Network. What? Yeah. It's pretty funny how, like, 
South Texas weather. She was out here in a bikini earlier. Now she's got on like knee high socks and a hoodie and a sweater. And those are my socks. Red pants. Did you just claim those socks? They're my soccer socks, man. Well, there you go. Some Christmas Day spec wrecking. Teresa and I would like to thank Chad Hoover from Kayak Bass and TV for hanging out with us today on the Texas Coastal Bend. We'd like to thank the What Nation. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you next time right here on 30 Miles Out. What?